MCAM 2020. I hope you're just as excited as I am to be here today um, and just to see what happens over the next seven days. This is completely different to what we're used to, but we hope that we can give you a flavour of camp at home for you to share with your family and your friends, hopefully, across the next seven days. I've already shared the programme in an email earlier this week, and if you've not already seen it, then it will be shared with you shortly. We've got a whole host of things organised and the leaders have been putting so much effort in to bring camp to you at home. So what are we going to be doing? Well, of course, we're going to start with some PE every morning. We're then going to have an, uh, an encouraging thought from one of the leaders. We're then going to have some workshops Monday, Wednesday, Friday that you can tune into. And then we'll have an activity each day, which will range from some photo or video um, games to, of course, our wet and wild Friday afternoon. Why would we do anything different, even if we're not together? So we hope that you can have fun during the day. And then in the evening, we'll be having our service as normal. This will include some worship and it'll include a message from Scott, who was our speaker last year as well. We're really excited about this and we can't wait to see what God has in store for all of us. And we hope that you can share in as much as the week goes on um, as you can. All of the content is available on our social media platforms and on YouTube. So you can send us as well videos and photographs of you participating in any of our activities um, so that we can see what you're doing and that we can use that um, to form a slideshow towards the end of the week so that we have the memories of MCAMP at home. We've also shared the menu with you. So if you would like to follow the camp um, menu, then feel free. I mean, we also have CT cooking for us on Tuesday uh, virtually so that we can cook along with them and have sloppy joes on Wednesday because they do take a bit of time. So do make sure that you're prepared for that if you want to join in that. It's such an exciting time and we want to get as much material from you so that we can see uh, and, and share together in the joy that we have of MCAP at home. So you can send it to us either in the Facebook private group, on Instagram by DMing us, or we have a dedicated email address this year for you to send us any questions, um, but also any photographs and videos. That is MCAP2020 at home at outlook.com. I say, I'm sure you can probably tell I'm really excited to be here and to share this with you. Um, and we really just pray that God will be blessing each of you and your families throughout this week as we do the various activities. So it's my job to tell you what the first activity is for today. As we would normally do, we'd be splitting you into teams just now so that you could uh, get to know your teammates for the week. We would then be sending you off to the games hall to be creative. And this is what we want you to do today. We would love for you to design your own family flag. Now, this can be as big or as small as you like. You can use any material, any, it could be drawn, it could be painted. If you have an old sheet, perhaps ask your mum or dad if you have any old sheets and use a giant one, hang it up outside. We would love to see what you come up with that represents your family. You're going to be participating throughout the week as a family in many of the activities. So let's see whose family is going to start at the top with the best design flag. As I mentioned, we're expecting um, that you will be able to share in some of this with your friends and your families. Um, we would encourage you to always abide by the government guidelines and rules for social distancing um, and number of households that can meet at any one time. We would love it if some of you could get together across the week, but do ensure that you're abiding by the rules as applicable to your group. That also applies to quiet times. So we'll be sharing some um, personal devotion questions each evening after Scott's message. And we hope that you can share these together as a family or as a group of friends, perhaps with friends who you've met previ at previous camps. So, so much going on, so much to look forward to. We really, really hope that you have a fantastic week and that you can bring a bit of M Camp to your home and enjoy it in hopefully some wonderful weather. So take care, guys. We really can't wait to see you soon, but can't wait for a fantastic week of M Camp at home. Bye.